you and welcome to this ultralight tutorial. So I was very kindly sent from Timmy, I think it is, of Ultralight, an invite to try the app. So here we go, let's um, let's get on and test this app. As you can see, my images folder, I've just got Ultralight, Endlight and Test Flight. Test Flight, I do beta testing for the Endlight app, so, um, so there's more to come on that very soon. So let's go into this Ultralight app right here now as you can see i've got a few images pop up and it just brings up your um, your camera roll and if you can see here i've got one with a little pencil in the top right hand corner so that just says that that picture is in um is currently being edited so if i select that picture for for um for instance so i can scroll along back select my original through the filters and then go back and you will see that that little pencil has gone so it's no longer being edited so ultralight actually saves as you go along and that little pencil there in the top right hand corner um, is that image in a saved state if you like so if you want to get rid of that editing just go back to the um, picture to remove it so I'm just going to use this butterfly picture it here we're going to select it and right away what you notice um, on the screen is the filters along the bottom so it's very very straightforward you just go along and you select any of the filters I'm not too sure what the yellow dots are on some of the other screens the yellow dots are for purchases for stuff that you can purchase I think these might just be um, stuff that's been updated currently being or has been updated so as you can see we just select the filters as we want to select the filters I'm going to use um, on this one I'm just going to use this warm film um, now what we can do once we've selected our filter on the bottom left hand corner here if we press this little two squares um, it just shows you what the image originally was now on the scale on the bottom you can just um, apply or remove the strength of that filter so if we go straight back up I'm gonna put it all the way to the top um, and now what we want to do is we want to click the little editing pen in the bottom right hand corner if I click cancel we see it again this little pen in the bottom right hand corner here lets us edit the picture more I wouldn't really call this an editing app I'd call it more of an adjustment app and light is editing you can remove stuff and you can do more it's more powerful so I would I would really call this an, an, an adjustment app it's a very good one but that's what I'd call it so bottom left hand side as we look at the bottom um, is where we can edit our picture now this looks very confusing very um, very busy on the screen and maybe a little bit um, a little bit daunting if you're not used it but it's very very simple along the bottom we've got black point low tone low tones mid tones high tones and white point now these are just um, tones black point and white point and the low mid and high tones within the image now to edit any one of them it's you just grab the little circle above the tone so I'm just gonna edit my mid tone for now and I'm gonna drag my mid tone down slightly and look it's simple we can just um, change the um, change the mid tones now the mid tones in the image here if I'm editing them will just remove the background sharpness slightly and now the um, like the high tones again you can see what it's doing to the picture so if you just mess about with them slowly and the white points and the black points just change the white and the black point on the image I'm not going to go too much into detail so you can see so it can make this picture a little bit more um, I'm just going to bring the high tones up slightly sorry the low tones up slightly and see what it looks like now I'm going to drag them drag them back just slightly above and that's my tone selected now next one along this little crosshair is the saturation and temperature so the saturation runs from north to south as you can see the s at the top the saturation and the temperature runs from left to right so you can warm the temperature up give it this sort of orange red glow or you can drag the temperature down and then you can increase the saturation and increase the temperature just by moving so I want to bring the saturation to sort of mid 
and drag it up with the temperature. So the temperature's mid and the saturation's just above um, what it should be. So that's very, very simple as well. And then next along, we go to the colorize so we can color our blacks, we can colorize our whites, or we can colorize, and we do this again just by, um, just by using the circle around the outside like so. So just drag it towards the colorized whites, colorize, or bring it to colorize the blacks, colorize the whites, or leave it neutral and just mess about with the color. So I'm just gonna pretty much leave it in the center anyway. Um, and then we're gonna go along to our vignette or our clarity. Currently, currently you see that it's on vignette. So we're just gonna um, go around and we can remove So you notice, so this time I'm just gonna go around a circle, get the image to where I want it, I want it like this. I'm gonna go for our clarity, and then again we do the same. So I just selected clarity on the bottom right hand side, and again we're just gonna sharpen or, or clarify our picture a little bit. And you can see if I drag it down around the circle, that it just blurs the outside a little bit more. Um, I would actually like to see um, this improved slightly so leaving the foreground as it is and then blurring the background a little bit more okay next along we've got our textures so again we can just select a background texture if we wanted to select a background texture we can edit the the amount of the background texture and the color so there's quite a few um, quite a few options here that you can mess around with and again it's just trial and error um, messing around with the um, and if you want to go back to your start state you just go back to the very first tile so see if I select one of these yellows here we can actually purchase the texture texture of that it gives you it gives you um, an example of that texture and you can actually edit that texture like so but in order to buy it um, you're gonna have to in order to use it sorry you're gonna have to obviously purchase it so some of the obviously some of the better textures which are which are quite nice sit quite nicely um, you have to purchase so you can see that so all I'm going to do is go back I don't want to do anything with the background or the texture and then the final one what you can do is you can change the ratio or you can flip or you can crop and you can edit the picture or the picture size or the picture dimensions and images from there so all in all ultralight is a, um, a really good app once you're done you just click done once you're happy and then to save that out we just click this little button here and then we can share automatically to Instagram we can go share other and then you can um, share to whatever apps that you um, that you have or you can um, you can just save a copy you just click save a copy and that's your image saved straight into your images so now if you're done you just pull down on the screen as you saw I just did there I just pulled down on the screen click back and it'll take me back to the start and it saves a copy of the original image and saves the copy of your, oh, so, sorry, so it leaves the copy of your original image and, and saves the copy, remember we spoke about at the start, in that edited state. So that's um, Ultralight, really, really great app for a, f for a free, free app. Um, they are always doing updates and um, and like I said, thanks again for the invite to try Ultra Light, and I will try and mess around with it a little bit more and see what it can do. Try and try and you know try and um, do a little bit more on the editing side as opposed to the adjustment side. So thanks a lot for watching, and um, I'll be back with um, some more some more tutorials and any cool apps I come across soon. So catch you soon. Take care. Bye.